Um, my W of the week, I, I, I'm, I'm just stoked to tell everybody about this. I can't wait. I'm like nervous until Wednesday gets here until I get this card in my hand that something could happen. So uh, it's, it's a loyal listener that reached out to me. Um, so I want I was able to obtain a, a, a grail card for my PC and how this happened was interesting. I had a listener from our show reach out to me through Instagram and say, um, he basically said, Hey, I've, I've been hearing about the fact that you've got all these Bowman first cards graded of the top 10 prospects. Um, I, I want to, I want to learn, I want to learn the Jedi ways. I want to do this, you know, and, and, and he was like, but I, I really would rather just buy them all from you. Would you sell them to me now instead of waiting till spring? And I'm like, well, that kind of defeats the purpose, right? Like I've, <laughs> I've got them graded so that I can profit in spring. And he goes, well, what, what would take, what would it take for me to do this? And I'm like, well, pay spring prices for one. But I can't advise you to do that as a listener because you're going to lose money doing that. And he goes, well, what else would do? I said, a, a financial, some sort of financial. Maybe I end up with some sort of rare disease and I need some money quick, you know, and I, that I don't have. That would do it. I said, or if like a holy grail card fell into my lap um, and, and I just had to have it and I couldn't afford it. And he goes, I was hoping you would say that. And I said, what do you mean? And he goes, well, I've heard that you're a huge Giannis fan. He said, I have your Holy Grail card. And I said, well, I've already got an RPA of Giannis. I, I don't know what else you could have that would be a Holy Grail card. He said, I have a I have a silver prism, pop 80, in a PSA 10. I'm like, get out, shut the front door, right? Like, no way. And I'm like, all right, all right, you got my attention, you got my attention. What are we talking about here? And he said, well, do you really have 20 of all of the top 10 prospects? And I said, well, it's not really because Kobe Mayo doesn't have a base non-auto and neither does uh, Basalo. So I said, I've got autograph cards of those guys, which are more expensive, but I do have, I did go to number 11. I do have 20 base PS or PSA graded cards of Ethan Salas, who's our number 11. And I do have 20 of Junior Caminero because they were at freaking grading last year when he got called up and I missed the window. So I said, I do have, I do have 200 cards of graded Bowman. And he said, well, can you send me a breakdown of what they are? I said, they're all nines and tens. They're about 70, 70% 70 tens and 30% nines. So I sent him the breakdown. He used market movers and he came up with a, a value. And he said, well, here's what I'm going to do. I want to offer you the, the Giannis Silver PSA 10 for your 200 Bowman cards. I started pricing it out and I'm thinking, yeah, it's about an eight, nine, 10 grand, depending upon where they're at. They're at their low point right now. I'm probably going to get 12 to 14 grand in spring. This is just dumb, right? This is stupid. <laughs> but it's Giannis Silver Prism, and I've never been able to attain this card before. I said to him, I said, you know what? The guys are going to roast me on Monday because they're going to tell me how what an idiot I am. I should have called and taken Paul and Lefty's advice, had them talk me off this cliff. I did it. I said, all right, you can have the 200 cards. And then he's like, okay, this is too big of a deal. I live in northern Illinois. He said, I'd prefer to remain anonymous. He said, because I'm going to be selling all these cards and I don't want anybody to know what I paid for them. I'm like, whatever, that's fine. He said, I'll meet you in Milwaukee on Wednesday. I'll drive halfway. You drive halfway. I'm like, great, no problem. So I'm meeting him in, on Wednesday. I'm going to have 200 freaking graded cards that I'm handing off to him and I'm going to get one card in return. It's going in the safe. It's probably going to lose another 20% because cards are sliding. He's going to double his money in spring, and I'm going to be the happiest guy on the planet because I have a silver prism. Remember, guys, I am a collector first. So this is probably one of the dumbest plays I've ever done, but it gets me a grail card, and I'm loving it. So that's my W of the week. Go ahead and roast me now. I can't. I can't roast you for this. Lefty, what do you think, man? This is super – this is – Man, Chad, thanks so much for sharing this story on the Sports Card Strategy Show. Honestly, this is what we're all about here. Like, this is, I think it's uh, it's tough decisions to make. 
and it's probably a win-win either way. It's perfect for win of the week because I think it's a win either way. Either way, you make a hefty profit on your amazing Bowman Chrome first play that you've been talking about at nooffseason.com and writing about, or you win because you get this extremely hard to attain Giannis card that you love. And we all think, I mean, Gary agrees. He put something in the chat just now. We all think this Giannis card is an amazing win just to have for, for many reasons. Lefty, what do you think? I think the win that you've made here is a personal win and an emotional win. But I think it's obvious to see that you might have made a financial loss. But what I'm saying here is you've just traded 200 transactions that you would have to ship and mail. That's true. <laughs> for it's a great point. For one. <laughs> well, That's I know not you're, for I, sale. I know That'll never be for it. sale. I know you're not selling it. Um, Xavier will probably sell it someday. Uh, I hope he does. He's gonna to pay for my funeral. That's that's the plan right now. My, my money's on Harley John selling it. That, I don't know if that kid has a heart. He's just coming in like throwing daggers at people. Yeah, probably. All I'm saying is, I think my favorite part of the transaction was you traded 200 transactions for one, and I I like that. I like that you were able to level into trading all this bulk into one transaction. Luke Menkel wants to uh, trade you 201 <laughs> Omen Chrome firsts for the Giannis. That's not a bad counter off, just jumping into the deal there. But no, I think I, I agree with Lefty, though, also. I mean, it's like it's an emotional win. But here's the thing, too, that I'll just, I'll just add this on to Lefty's take, and then we got to get to his win of the week, is the Giannis card could go up in value huge. And I know you're – I know you're – uh, saying that you don't want to sell it, but if you if you think it's a four, say roughly four thousand dollar to six thousand dollar financial law, quote unquote loss right now on paper, it could that card could actually. I mean, if this dude wins another title or two in the next few years, that is that is the card, right? That is the right card, right? We talk about the right card. That is the right card. So uh, very cool. But uh, can lefty, I be de we, can I be devil's advocate, Paul? Yeah, absolutely. What's the marker? What's NBA, the, what, NBA championship. Why? Giannis marker, why? NBA championship. He's already done that. Well, his card spiked huge when he did that, and then since then they've come back down again. So I would expect the same thing. I would expect whatever that Prism Silver PSA 10 is trading at right now, I would expect it to 2, 3X if he, if he wins another championship because now he's got a second championship. Uh, there's a ton of hype around that with Lillard. He goes on the tour, you know, he, whatever he does on the, on the post championship tour for a guy like Giannis is going to be huge. So I see where you're so, coming from though, dude. I mean, you might be right. You might be right. But I think so like, anyway, I just, I just pulled up market movers to just now for people that are taking losses, right? We're talking about the 2021 spike. This card peaked. On August 12th of 2020, it had a transaction of $42,900. Holy cow. And now today, Market Mover says it's worth $8,600. How would you like to be the guy that paid $42,000 in August of 2020 and still be holding that card? He wasn't listening to our show. I'll tell you that. Much. <laughs> that guy was not listening to our show. Right, Lefty? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it's going back to what we talked about. I think this is exactly what we've talked about in the L my first L of the week and coming down from, yep. you know, the, the bubble of 21, 20. This card will see its day again. You'll I, and, and I'm playing devil's advocate because I'm saying what are his markers short term. But for, for Chad, it doesn't matter what his markers are, you know. And so right. it's a little bit not, uh, you know, we're trying to invest in sports cards to make money. You know, like this play, for instance, is investing to make money so that you can buy something you really love, which for Chad just happens to also be sports cards. You know, like for me, I could have bought, you know, an F-150 or something with that same money. And we would be sitting here thinking like, oh, sick, dude, you paid cash for an F-150 because of 200 Bowman cards. Right. Then we would be celebrating him. You know, like the point is he made the funds to go buy a pop 80 PSA 10 silver yeah. of Giannis Antetokounmpo, um, which right now is trading at 8.68K. But the charts, all-time data on that looks looks really good. 
and there's only one sale in the past you know uh six months or something like that so uh or there's FD, like, real quick real quick before you get into your win of the week because i'm excited to hear about it i just want to show up uh, throw out a couple things for the audience with this one thing i was going to ask chad which he already answered was how are you going to consummate this transaction right and so he's gonna do, he's gonna do it in person with with the with the uh the person that he's making the transaction with i think that's smart um i couldn't really see a way a safe way around doing that in person um also psa 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 card.com slash cert um go in there if, if any of you are going to make a transaction like this especially with a pop 80 card like this uh, get the cert number and type it in to the to the PSA card.com slash cert to make sure that this is a legitimate certification and not some kind of fake PSA slab with a fake label. I think Dr. Crack's too smart uh, on a transaction like this where, where I'd have to tell him that. But I just want I want to give give the audience uh, a little a little disclaimer there that with a card of this kind of value, it would be worth someone's money to fake it. And so uh, just beware of these kinds of things. Um, but yeah, that, that's all I have to say on it. Lefty, uh, back to you, man. Yeah, so Chad, you said in the, in the chat here, you were $6,800 invested in this card, right? Or in the 201? In the, in the 200 Bowman, when you took what I paid raw, what I paid for shipping, according to my spreadsheet, my Excel spreadsheet, those 200 cards in the right-hand column showed I had $6,800 with shipping, grading fees, the whole nine yards invested in it. So I'm up. If I wanted to sell the card, I could I could make a two grand profit right yeah. now, but that's yeah, not I, that's, that's great. Not the plan. Especially because in February of 2023, you know, literally this year, that Giannis card sold for 15k. Hmm. Great point, Lefty. Great point. It's a win already. He's already profited from it. That's the point, right? I mean, he's already profited. So even though the value of those Bowman Chrome firsts could be higher, that's a projection, and Chad's making money and adding this to his PC. Uh -huh.